All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this NBA 2K23 My NBA Career. We are currently 32 and eight, the first seed in the East, going up against the 24 and 12 Indiana Pacers, the current five seed in the Eastern Conference. This could possibly be a round two matchup. Uh, Aiton versus um Turner. Sabonis going up against his former team. I feel like we match up. We well, we match up very well against a lot of teams. Uh, but the Pacers match up pretty well against us. They have young Anthony Black in at the shooting guard. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton, obviously, against LaMelo Ball. They have uh, Benedict Matherin to go up against Aaron Gordon. And obviously, Porzingis and Sabonis and uh, Turner and Aiton. So, yeah, we match up very well. But obviously, we have the upper hand as Aiton gets the offensive board and throws it. I had a 25 rebound game against Milwaukee. I had 25 rebounds against Milwaukee. A 6-4 shooting. That says it for itself. Uh, but what seed do you guys think we will finish with as I get the block? What seed and what record do you think we will finish with at the end of the season? Leave your comment down below. And whoever is actually accurate, I will put um, at, in the video at the end of the regular season. Whoever is close or whoever actually guesses it. How many wins and what seed we will be as the Pacers inbound the ball right back. They give it to Porzingis, who's going to kick it out. Benedict Matherin, I thought he was going to launch that. I will not lie. Uh, Porzingis sends the screen. Benedict Matherin launches it. It's off, though. I am 1 for 5 currently in this game. They have had me pretty much locked down. Not that post fade, though. Those are my only two buckets in this game. Uh, I, am I am averaging a triple-double, most likely. 11 rebounds and wins, 10 rebounds and losses, and I'm pretty sure I'm averaging over 10 assists. Uh, I did not check, but I think last time I checked, I was. Uh, but currently, the Pacers are giving us a run for our money as that bounce pass to Porzingis. He hits the bucket. All right, I'm getting subbed out here. Uh, we'll see what our bench unit can exactly do. Uh, we are up by one. I'm all for a close game because this this point in the year, playing 2K, is not exactly fun. I'm mainly just buying my time until Madden comes out in August. Which is still another, like, month and a half. So, uh, yeah, that's a big yikes. I thought I would have got that steal there. Miles Turner, though. It's a bonus on him. Don't foul, please. All right, I didn't foul. Even though that Isaiah Jackson gets the offensive board and the foul. I'm just launching threes. Ah, that one didn't fall. I really thought it would. I think I'm one for four from downtown right now. Not going very well. I did miss a wide open one. I won't lie. But the rest have been contested besides the one I hit. Um, but I mean, I haven't played 2K in a few days, so my shot is definitely a little bit off. Tyrese Halliburton cannot really get by Mike Conley. He's trying to set a screen for Derek Whitehead, who's going to miss, and they're going to get the offensive board, and it goes out of bounds. There we go. Now I'm wide open. Now I'm hitting one. Ten points so far. Less than Cedric usually um, averages uh, around these first tasks, but I mean, we only are only up by two. I don't know really who's doing the scoring as Derek Whitehead just gets a red carpet to the basket. Pacers have a three-point lead right now, and they're not really slowing down. Neither is Cedric Lewis. As he knocks down what I believe to be his third three of the day. He's got 17 points now. 17, 2, and 6 in this game. Not shooting well whatsoever. But, I mean, hey, 54-54 all tied up. I almost get the steal there, and I get there in time. To contest the shot, I accidentally spammed X because, oh, the one time they actually pass it to me when I call for it, I they, they pass it and I throw it back. It Usually I have to sit there and spam X. That's why that happened because they never, why am I, they're running, they're running a three center lineup right now. Okay. I am not a fan of the lineup we have on the court right now. I am a fan of that screen. What a screen from DeAndre Ayton to give me enough space to knock down the three-pointer. Once again, I missed my last one because I got blocked by Isaiah Jackson because they have a uh, center running. I fouled. Of course I did. Because they have a center running small forward right now. But that knocked down what I believe to be my fourth three. I think I'm like four for 11, four for 12 probably. Not a good shooting night for Cedric Lewis. But we have the lead, which is all that matters. They're going to get the ball to Benedict Matherin. He's going to get a great screen. I'm going to box out Mitchell Robinson, and we're going to hold this ball for the last shot. 
13 seconds left. Uh, they got Matherin on me. Uh, so far, no mismatches. Uh, okay, I'm set the screen now. Five seconds left. Five seconds left. Amazing screen. I'll pull up. Midi, good release. It's good. Cedric Lewis is going to send the Hornets with a five-point lead in the halftime after trailing and being tied a majority of the game. Give me that. Give me that. Big yoink. Big yoink. Keep cutting. That's not Porzingis. That's a bonus. And, yep, there goes that whole play. Whole play goes to crap, and I'm going to foul. Oh, no, dude. I hate 2K with the passion. Why do my teammates not sprint? Why? If he, if Sabonis was actually sprinting there, he would have he would have got there in time. But no, of course not. And it's not like I could have got there in time because anytime I get a steal, well they call timeout. Anytime I get a steal or something, uh, my character will sprint, but will get basically connected to my defender, and I can't run because they're just pressing up against me. It doesn't make much sense. Oh, I ran this up now. I'm not paying attention. Up by one, two-point game. You would think I'd be more excited, but I just... Not only is it a million degrees right now in uh, my room, but like I said, I'm just at the point of 2K, especially since the NBA season is over, where I am just not interested whatsoever. And just like that, we go on an 8-0 run and now have an 8-point lead. Uh, and there's still two minutes left in this third quarter, so... I mean, unless the Pacers start, you know, scoring... Uh, I feel like this game could get very um, ugly very quick. Okay, there's Anthony Black. Uh, the minutes without Tyrese Halberton on the court are not great, although Anthony Black has 18 points. It does not feel like I gave up most of those points. 10 seconds remaining in this third quarter. They've cut it to 7. They have they have been dealing some blows here. They're going to give it to Derek Whitehead or Derek Whitehead. And they just launched a 3 to end it, and they're going to go down by 7 to start the 4th. Let's see if we can pull away. All right, we are a little over halfway through the fourth quarter as Aiden steals my rebound and Halliburton fouls. Um, oh, we're in the bonus, too. We are up by eight points currently. Yep, okay, we're staying at eight because Isaiah Joe can't knock down a free throw. Can you at least make it nine? But he makes it nine. All right, we're up by nine points right now, 108.99. Uh, the Pacers have completely cooled off. And I had 35 points. Shooting terrible. I have awful shooting splits right now as I almost got that steal. I didn't know where to, whether to guard um, Porzingis. And I had that block too. I didn't know whether to guard Porzingis, Porzingis or Black. But as you can see, we have like not doubled but almost doubled their free throws as Lamar Ball is going to come back in the game. Six-point game, 50 seconds left. They're very much in it. And I have just been complete garbage this game shooting-wise. Uh, they don't need a three, but it, it would help out a lot. As they're going to go to Miles Turner in the post, they are wasting way too much time. They get a good look. It's off, though. I get my sixth rebound, and they're going to be forced to foul. 20 seconds left. I mean, if they don't hit a three here, uh, th their hopes are all dead, to be brutally honest, even though they're going to end up fouling me, and I'm going to hit every free throw. Uh, yep, Tyrese Halliburton launches it. It's off. Give it to me. And that is, they're not going to foul. Uh, yeah, they're not going to foul, it looks like. And that is going to do it. We are going to take out the Indiana Pacers. I want 40 points, though. So I'm going straight to the rack. And I'm going to get my 40 as there are four seconds left. And bang, right there. 40 points. Six rebounds, 13 assists. I'm very, very, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow, I missed that free throw, didn't I? That's tragic. I'm pretty bad shooting, I'd imagine, as Derek Whitehead is going to launch that. 119-111 is your final score. It was a very close game throughout. But, I mean, like I said, 2K at this point of the year is just not great. Uh, Tyler Halliburton had 30 and 11 on pretty decent shooting. Um, Anthony Black had 25. Uh, and then Benedict Matherin had 12 from 4 for 15 shooting. Not much help from them. Uh, 40 points, 6 rebounds, 13 assists on 12 of 28 shooting, 5 of 16 from 3. Just... Not a good shooting game from Cedric Gillis, but Aiton, really good game. 17 and 17 with two blocks, only missed a three. He was perfect for two. Uh, Lamelo Ball had 15, 5, and 5 on good shooting. Aaron Gordon had 11. He could not hit a three, though. Uh, and Nick Richards, 10 and 9 off the bench, along with Mike Conley, at 8. Sabonis so only had seven points, did not shoot well, but he did contribute with two steals, a block. He had six rebounds, three assists. So I will take that. So without further ado, without further ado. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. GG.